welcome to my youtube channel i am dr d d kulkarni working as assistant professor of commerce sri lk koth college of commerce sankeshwar district belagami in this video we will discuss a case study on assessment of firms or partnership firm which is a syllabus for income tax 2 subject of rani chennai university belagami i have taken an example of a case study which has appeared for the year 2017 the case study is like this messrs vijay and company is a partnership firm of which vijay and ajay are the partners sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 2 is to 1 their capital stood at rupees 250000 each on 1 4 the profit and loss count of the firm showed a net loss of rupees 40000 after charging the following for the previous year 2019 20 interest on capital at 20% rupees 50000 each salary to partners per annum vijay is rupees 30000 and ajay is rupees 170000 rent paid to partner vijay rupees 24000 per annum for the firm's premises compute the total income of the firm for the assessment year 1920 assuming that both the partners of the firm are working partners mr vijay only is the working partner Mr Ajay only is the working partner case study state the reasons for the differences if any in the total income of the firm under the above circumstances now we shall discuss the case study which has appeared for the year 2017 of rani chennai university here the case study is is on partnership firm it is nothing but the computation of the total income of the firm when both the partners uh, are working partners and one of the partners are working partners so let us discuss this problem here vijay and ajay are the partners sharing profits and the losses in the ratio of 2 is to 1 their capital so stood at rupees 2 lakh 50000 each at the beginning of the year the p and l count of the firm showed a net loss of rupees 40000 after charging the following for the previous year 1819 so interest on capital at the rate of 20% rupees 50000 each so here the interest allowed on partners capital it is in excess of 12% so we should add back to this to the net loss sell into partners which are 30000 rupees per annum and uh, ajay rupees 170000 per annum rent paid to partner vijay rupees 24000 per annum for the firm's premises so here what is the reasonable amount of the rent or how much is allowed by the assessing officer is not given in this problem so let us assume that how much is allowed rent to partner vijay itself is reasonable and hence it is allowable so we are making an assumption here then compute the total income of the firm when both the partners are working partners only when vijay is the working partner only when ajay is the working partner so we need to compute the total income of the firm under three circumstances one is both the partners are working partners secondly when only vijay is the working partner and only when ajay is the working partner so if we compute the book profit for once it serves for the all the three cases here right so now let us work out this problem here so let me take the case one or so case one here that is when both are when both are working partners when both are the working partner this is a very simple case study dear students so let me let me write down here computation of computation of total income of course in this uh, problem we have on to only one head of income that is income from business here so total is it total income computation of compute total income of the firm so computation of total income of firm 
so this is uh, previous year 18 and 19 assessment year 19 and 20 assessment year 19 and 20 So let us resolve this column for completion of total income. This is for specific column, okay? So I'll write here total income here. Here specific head income column. Specific head. So now, income from business, income from business, so here in this problem we have given the net loss, so net loss as per p and l account, so net loss as per p and l account. So here we have given the net loss as rupees of 40,000 here. So I will write with a minus sign here. So it will ease our calculation purpose. So to this let us add expenses expressly expenses expressly of this amount. Or you can also write the in advisable expenses in short. That is also acceptable. Expenses expressly disallowed. So we have under this interest on capital. So here it is Vijay Vijay. Uh, so both the partners Vijay here. So Vijay and Ajay. So Ajay it is 8 by 20. So how why it is 8 by 20? Because 12% is allowable, so 8% will be disallowed. So 8 by 20 into rupees 50,000, uh, which comes to uh, so here for 2s, for 5s, 5 1s, so 20,000 rupees of Vijay. So similarly, Ajay, so that is also 8 by 20 into rupees 50,000 so that is 20,000 so we have under this category only only this uh, expenditure that is interest in capital is a piece around here so let us add back here so 40,000 here so minus 40 plus 40,000 so there cannot be anything here right then there are no any Incomes are chargeable under the under this head to put credited to pay income, so there are no such things here. So let just let me write down here simply. Plus incomes are chargeable. Incomes are chargeable under other heads. Under other heads and exempted incomes and exempted incomes. Credited to credited to P and L account. So there are no such thing here. So this is also new here. So now to this let me add add salary to partners. Add salary to partners. So here the salary is paid to both here. Uh, that is uh, Vijay so Vijay it is 30,000 Ajay 1,70,000 so sum of this will be 2 lakhs this itself is a book profit so 2 lakhs Lakhs. This is book profit, uh, in short BP, book profit. So now, we should allow the remuneration to 
working partners. In the first case is both are working partners. In the first case both are working partners here. So less remuneration to remuneration to working partners so remuneration to working partners in the first context both are working partners here so first salary to uh, working partners or salary to Ajay so Vijay so Vijay salary is 30,000 then salary to Ajay it is 1,70,000 so the sum of this comes to 2 lakhs 2 lakhs this is what we get here actual right then remove uh, then remuneration as per section 40b remuneration as per section 40b so 90% of book profit of rupees 1 lakh sorry 2 lakhs 2 lakhs here that comes to rupees 1 lakh 80,000 so 1 lakh 80,000 or rupees 1 lakh 50,000 1 lakh 50,000 whichever is more or higher so that you get rupees 1 lakh 80,000 so 1 lakh 80,000 this is what we are going to write here the maximum remuneration which is allowed as per section 40 b here so maximum remuneration and in short rem remuneration so now we should compare the actual actual of rupees so how much we have got actual here rupees 2 lakhs so 2 lakhs or maximum of rupees maximum of rupees 1 lakh 80,000 so whichever is less so that comes to rupees 1 lakh 80,000 so we have got we should deduct this amount from the book profit we have got the book profit as a piece 2 lakhs here so 2 lakh minus 1 lakh 80 you get a 20,000 as income from business so 20,000 there are no any income under the head under other heads like uh, capital gain other sources so this itself is GTI so GTI here less deduction under section 80 less deduction under section 80 there are no such a reduction section 80 g etc here so 20,000 this is what you get here total income so in the first situation both the partners are working partners so the actual remuneration is 2 lakhs whereas the maximum we have come to 1 lakh 80,000 here there now let us go for the second situation second situation is that only when of this so now we are going for the second uh, situation that is where Mr. Vijay is only the working partner Mr. Vijay is only the working partner so I will not repeat the competition of the book profit here I will directly write book profit here so book profit I will write here that we have already completed in the first case it is 2 lakhs it has come now so 2 lakhs so here when Vijay is working partner 
then Vijay is only the working partner, book profit will come. So less remuneration to remuneration to working partners. Working partners so working partners here. So in this case here, so now first we should take only the uh, salary to Vijay here. So salary to Vijay, salary to Vijay that we have given as rupees 30,000. So 30,000, this is actual. So now we should compare this amount with the Maximum salary. So remuneration as per section 40B here. Remuneration as per section 40B. So here 90% of book profit of rupees 2 lakhs, which comes to rupees 1 lakh 80,000 or rupees 1,50,000 whichever is more or high so here we get 1,80,000 here so 1,80,000 so when you take the total here it will be 1,80,000 so this is what we call as a maximum so we should compare the actual with the maximum so actual of rupees actual of rupees 30,000 or maximum of rupees 1,80,000 whichever is less so that comes to 30,000 here so 1,70,000 is income from business so here it is 1,70,000 so there are no other heads of incomes here so 1,70,000 this is GTI that itself is total income as the firm has not made any uh, spent any expenditure here so now in the earlier case you can just uh, okay, we shall have comparison later on now let us go for the next one here uh, that is when Ajay is the working camp, or working partner here. When Ajay is Ajay is working partner, so the book profit remains in here, that is two less. So salary to Ajay it is given as one lakh seventy thousand here. So the actual salary here will be 1,70,000 only. Now remuneration as per section 40B, so 90% book profit, so 2,1,80,000 or rupees 1,80,000 whichever is more, so 1,80,000. So now here the actual salary of rupees 1,70,000 or maximum of rupees 1,80,000 whichever is less right so 1,70,000 so 30,000 is income from business so 30,000 is income from business which itself is total income so this is how we need to work out the case so why there is a difference because in the first case so both were working parts right so what the uh, provision says in section 40b here 90% of book profit or rupees 1 lakh of 50,000 which is higher then on the remaining if there is any book profit remaining then 60% of the balance we should put here so that should be compared to the actual here so in the first case the actual remuneration was 2 lakhs uh, yeah so where we have come to uh, 2 lakhs or the maximum was 1 lakh 80,000 so 20,000 we have got in the second case we have got 1,70,000 in the third case we will get 30,000 ok so, the, so we should keep in the mind the provisions of section 40b and accordingly section 40b we should allow so what the section 40b says here 
the actual remuneration shall be compared with the maximum amount of remuneration whichever is less among those two shall be allowed here thank you